Welcome back. You're with us on Trading Hour. It continues to be a fairly down, uh, downward drift for the market. Let's figure out what's happening in the world of commodities. Manisha Gupta is joining us for that as always. Manisha, what's happening in your world? Ours is mostly red. Well, a bit of a green continuing in the metal space especially. And while copper aluminum continue to trade at a seven-month highs, we've seen iron ore prices continue to gain as well. And this one is trading at a seven-month highs as well. Well, actually, when you look at the month of January in 2023, we already are up by nearly 7% for the prices here. The China zero COVID policy and the markets believing that the housing construction numbers will start to begin. The kind of credit lines that the commercial banks have opened for the property also have in turn turned positive sentiment for the iron ore prices is there and the markets also are looking at the adverse weather in uh, producing countries brazil for example has seen cyclones and floods as well and the first quarter maintenance for many of these iron ore plants in australia also have led to lower delivery Check out the import numbers for China and that have been quite positive for the month of January until now. The markets do anticipate 115 million tons of import for the month of Jan. December was quite weak at nearly 90. Uh, November was 98 and we did see 94 for the month of October as well. So while there has been that uh, jagged history when you look at the imports, but January clearly giving you a very strong number suggesting that the prices and demand both can be positive. All right, Manisha, thanks a lot for that quick update. With that, we are going to get into a short break now. But on the other side, we're going to have the management of Shali Hotels joining us. Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the company, Sanjay Sethi, will join in in just a bit to talk about the Q3 earnings.